today we are going to uh, learn how to uh, create a table how to insert a uh, data into the table using sqlite right before going to uh, start a project we need to learn some basics in the sqlite right so so there are five to six methods that we need to understand to do this sqlite insert update uh, queries right so there is a <coughs> sqlite library in that library we have a six methods one is sqlite sqlite 3 underscore open open this is used to open the database open the database right so one more is sqlite 3 underscore close right this is to close the database yes so if you want to perform any operation first we need to open the database perform any operation then finally we need to close the database this method we need to call to open the database and close method you need to close the database right now if you want to create a table in the database right then we have one more method called sqlite 3 underscore ex easy what is that sqlite 3 underscore ex easy to create a table in the database correct once we have created the table in the database then we need to perform some operations like inserting select right to do all those operations we have a one more method called sqlite 3 underscore prepare underscore v2 right so using these methods we can do all the operations like inserting selecting uh, uh, updating all those things we can do this method right so we have one more method called sqlite uh, 3 underscore uh, statement sqlite 3 underscore statement not statement step sqlite 3 underscore step method right this is to uh, check whether the select query returns the data or not right so one more method is called sqlite 3 underscore finalize sqlite 3 underscore finalize if you learn about these three six methods then we can say we have a knowledge on sqlite in ios right so first method is to open the database second method is to close the database this method sqlite 3 underscore exec is to create the table in the database sqlite 3 underscore prepare underscore vt is to perform the inner insert select and update all the queries that are related to the sql right so sqlite step is to see the uh, select statement uh, prepare statement like whether the next row is there or not there that kind of uh, thing we will do using sqlite step right sqlite 3 underscore finalize to release the statement object we need to use what sqlite 3 underscore finalize right so we will see all those things practically so that we will get some confident on how to do the sqlite operations in the ios application correct so now if you want to open this SQL database we need to pass the two two parameters one is the path to the database one more is the output parameter there are two kinds of parameters right input parameter and output parameter generally this is the c language apis so in the c language what will happen uh, some methods will take the input parameters and do the some operations and finally return the result to the result of the operations in some methods what will they will they will take the input parameters and also address of the output parameter they will use this input parameters to do some operation and finally the result they are going to put in the output parameter instead of returning the result value they put in the output parameters so sqlite 3 underscore open is belongs to the second category that means takes the input parameter and the output parameter does the operation some operation using the input parameter and put the result back onto the output parameter right so what is the input parameter here the input parameter is path to the open database we need to pass the path to the open database right the output parameter is address of database object that means this sql3 underscore open file opens the database in the path and keep the database object in the output parameter right so now if you want to close the database then you need to pass the open database reference that is one parameter right now if you want to create a 
table using escalate 3 underscore exec now here what you need to pass you need to pass the open database that means output of this as input to this method and also you need to uh, pass the query to create a table this query is going to be executed on the database right same way here also you need to pass one is open database variable and one more is uh, query that you need to perform either select query insert query update query so third element is you need to pass the result also output parameter that is statement object right so three parameters open database query and the output object that is statement object right that we will see clearly the step is to process the select query finalize is to uh, release the memory that is occupied by the statement object right that we will see practically right so now you can ask the one more query before going to the implementation you can ask one more query that where the application is going to be stored the database we for example we have 10 applications in the device all these 10 applications may be creating the database then you want to know where this is going to be created this is going to be created in the applications memory not in the uh, device memory this is going to be created where in the applications memory each and every application contains a folder called document folder what is that document folder inside of document folder we need to create a database file inside of that file that file we need to create a uh, tables all those things which folder each and every application contains which folder document folder so document folder inside of this folder we need to create what sqlite file it can be a dot db extension or dot sqlite for example student dot sqlite file or ex for example or contact employee dot db whatever it is the extension should be a db or extension should be a sqlite but where to create this document folder each and every application contains the document folder this is our application specific data we can we should not share this data to the other application that's why we need to keep where inside of document folder right so we can see this folder path in the uh, simulator right if you want to see that i will show you the where the uh, database folders are going to be created right i will open the terminal So now open library open space till library it opens the library folder just listen it carefully so inside of library folder we have library folder inside of library folder application support is there right inside of application support iphone simulator is there if you are running your project in any simulator 7.0 6.0 for example 7.0 go open the 7.0 and open the applications each and every application contains the 32 character hexadecimal number 32 character hexadecimal number based on your application this application <coughs> id is going to be generated automatically right now you open this and each and every application contains what i told you right documents directory inside of this directory inside of this directory we need to create what the SQLite file right now if you see the path for get info you can see this is the path so if you see this path I will copy this path so not go to text field so I am copying the path for the document folder right so you can see users username the username of the your system and the library application support iPhone simulator and the version of the iOS 6.0 or 7.0 8.0 whatever it is after that applications inside of applications for example if your simulator contains 10 applications or 20 application each application contains this much what data after this you have a folder called documents what is that documents inside of this folder we need to create what sqlite file that is called our database file what is the path to create a, a database user user name library application support iphone simulator and version number then application and your application hexadecimal number and the document directory so i will explain you how to get the path programmatically in this path only we have to create a file with some extension dot db or dot sqlite right so where we have to create 
in the document directory what is the path for document directory users username library application support iphone simulator the then application ios version for example 7.0 8.0 i mean your simulator ios version right after that applications instead of application it will show you the many number of applications with the 32 character hexadecimal number instead of that we have a folder called documents inside of this folder we need to create what sqlite file that is called our database file once the database file is created after that we need to create a table after that we need to do table operations like inserting deleting updating whatever we want right so to perform all those things we have to use the six methods along with the six methods we have to use some macros we have to use some macros those are called sqlite underscore all our capital letters sqlite underscore okay right one more is sqlite underscore done underscore done one more is sqlite underscore row right sqlite underscore ok sqlite underscore done sqlite underscore row these are this is to check whether the query is successfully executed or not this is to check whether the insert query is successfully or not this is to check select statement contains i mean statement object contains next row or not right so how many macros we need to use as a part of developing the code for sqlite three macros sqlite underscore ok sqlite underscore done sqlite underscore row these three macros we have to use while writing the code apart from this we will see all those things programmatically i am just giving the uh, <coughs> basic things that are required to understand the sqlite after this three statement we have to use something some like conversation to the c strings to the n string for example my query i am preparing in the n string but these things these methods these methods cannot understand the n string these methods will understand only c kind of string that is c string right so now i need to convert the n string into the c string for example i have a path in the n string object but i cannot pass that n string object to the open method i need to convert that n string into the c string right to do that we have a class called n string n string on the n string class n string i have a method in the n string class i have a method utf a string what is the method name utf 8 string if you call this method what will happen it will convert the n string into c string utf8 string this method converts what n string into the <coughs> c string then we have to pass that path to what this sqlite underscore open so these methods cannot allow to pass string object in the form of n string reference we have to convert into the c string to do that we have which method utf a string this is very important same way for example if you write a select query you get the name of the student this name of the student we, you will you will receive in the form of c string but you cannot display this c string on the label or some text field before displaying the c string on the tail label we have to convert the c string into again what n string for that also we have a one method which will take the c string and it will give the reference of what n string using n string class only in the n string class we have a <coughs> method called init with c string pass your c string it will give the n string then we can update onto the label of text field that means we have to convert the n string into c string then pass the c string to the one of this method based on our requirement again query the data from the uh, database it will give the data in the form of c string then we have to convert into the n string then only we can pass onto the what on the label or text field right so these are the basics that are required these are available where in the sqlite 3 library i will show you how to add the sqlite 3 library also now we are going to see <coughs> we are going to take some example to understand all these methods right so for example i have a some uh, contact kind of thing contact name and address and phone number for example if you create a view like this for example if you want to create a view like this name address and phone number right i need to insert the name over here i need to insert the tech, uh, address over here i need to insert the phone number over here correct now i don't want to sp spend the time to create this kind of view we have already learned how to create a view that's what i am not spending much time to create this i am using the existing one 
so you need to drag three text fields you need to drag two buttons and you need to drag one label and this is these are three labels to tell that what we have to enter whether name or address and phone number right so you have to enter the data and click on the save button we will insert the data into the table and click on the find button we will get the data from the table and we will display the uh, result over here for example i am creating the name for example i want to query the address and phone number for the name i will enter the name and i will click on the find button then i need to display the address of that person here and the phone number here right that's why i created what this kind of view these are three text fields two buttons four labels this label is to specify whether the save is success i can say this is a status label which label i can say it is a status label right now now if you see here <coughs> so first we will see how to create a table right but whenever i run the application which method is going to be called view did load method instead of view did load method i am going to write a code to create a table i am going to write a code to create a table where i have to create a table i need to create a table in the document folder of application in the document folder of application that means i need to access the path to the document folder right path to the document folder right so how to access the path to the document directory so there is a method called ns search path for directories and domains it will take three parameters one is ns document directory that is the directory where you have to pass and the one is N ns user domain mask here system domain mask also there so but we have to pass what ns user domain mask for example user name of the logged in user it will automatically take and uh, yes you have to pass here yes that means it will give the path in expanded mode otherwise it will give the tilde symbol and also like this if you are not saying x s it will give the path like contact.db if you say the s it will give the absolute path by expanding this tilde symbol it will give the absolute path by expanding tilde symbol i will show you the path path without to s and with yes then you can understand right so what it will do it will give the path of array at index 0 you will get the path to our document directory you will get the path to our document directory right so you have a path to the document directory inside of this document directory what we have to create we have to create a, some database that may be a contact.db or contact.sqlite here we are taking the contact.db so before creating the file first i am preparing the path so i have a document path and for this path i am appending the path component that is called contacts.db 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 so now what it will return it will return all the path to the document and it will append this contact.db finally this self.database path contains what path to the document path to the document directory and also this path contains what contact.db that means i can say this is the database path for in this path we have to create a file we have to create a file right for example how do we check the file is existed for example database file is already created that means we should not create again and again if you try to create what will happen it will del delete the database and it will create a new database if your database contains some tables we will use that right so before creating the database we have to check whether the file exists at path or not to do that we have a class called ns file manager what is that ns file manager in ns file manager we have a method called default manager it will give the file manager object and the file manager object we have a method called file exists at path what it will do in this path if the database file is existed it will return to if the database file is not existed it will return no that means i am checking whether the file is existed if the file is not existed i am telling create a file create a file after creating the file after creating the file we have to we have to uh, create a table inside of file we have to create a table inside of that database file to create a file first i need to convert this database path into what c string right this this path is in the form of n string that's why i am converting into the string by using which method utf a string i have already explained we need to use utf a string it will give the constant character and db path now pass this opened uh, pass this path of the db to the sqlite 
थ्री अंडर स्कोर ओपन दट इज कॉल डी बी अंडर स्कोर पाथ डी बी अंडर स्कोर पाथ एंड ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड द एड्रेस ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट डी बी दिस एड्रेस ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट टी बी इज द वेरेबल ऑफ टाइप एस्कुलेट थ्री एस्कुलेट थ्री वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर ए वेरेबल ऑफ टाइप एस्कुलेट थ्री राइट सो नाउ इफ यू सी इफ यू सी एस्कुलेट थ्री अंडर एस्कुलेट थ्री अंडर स्कोर ओपन सो इफ इफ इट इज सक्सेसफुली ओपन इट विल रिटर्न एस्कुलेट अंडर स्कोर ओके सो इफ इट इज सक्सेसफुल इफ इट इज नॉट ओपन सक्सेसफुली ओपन इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू एस्कुलेट अंडर स्कोर ओके नाउ इफ इट इज equal to okay that means the file is already created if or if the file is already available it will open that file so this method what it will do it will check if the database file is already created if it will it just then it will just open the database file if it is not created then it will create and open the database if it is successfully open the database file then it will return what escalate okay if it, that's why i am checking with what escalate okay if it is escalate okay then what i need to do i need to use the one method that is escalate 3 underscore excc to create a table in the database to create a table in the uh, database i already told you the output parameter of this method is going to be used input parameter of this method that is as a first parameter and the second parameter is the query to create a table here i am going to create a table called contacts create table if not exist contacts table name and the id integer that primary key and it auto incremented i no need to enter the id it automatically increments based on your your row number for example we entered at five row five number of rows in the sixth row you no need to enter what row number it automatically increment to the six then we have to enter only name and address and phone number all these are of type text type name is text type address is text type phone number also i take it as a text it can be a integer also so it can be a integer also right so now i have this query and i pass the query as a second parameter and the first parameter is open database and also error address of error that means if there is any error while executing this query onto the database it will put this method will put the error in this object right so now what will happen this query will execute this create table query onto the database and if it is if it is not successful i am checking if it is not equal to okay now i am printing what fail to create table fail to create table self dot status dash text is equal to what fail to create table right so once it is created successfully what i am doing what i am doing i am closing the database whether it is fail or success i'm create i'm closing the database right so here if you observe here if it is this else condition is what if it is fail to open database then i'm putting the fail to open on the text label that is status label the the label i will show you here in the simulator where it is there this is the status label here i'm in whether the database is successfully opened or database is successfully created i am trying to display on this label that's why i am i am accessing self dot text status is equal to text is equal to file to open or create database right this is about what creating the database and creating the table in the database right now run and see i will show you all these things break points come on so we can ask one more question i told you i need to add which library escalate 3 underscore library which is already added a libs dot escalate 3 underscore library now we can has how to add this file right so to add this file select this go to the build phase go to the link libraries here click on the plus button it will show you that lib dot escalate 3 for example i am going to remove this it is already added right i am going to remove then i will add remove it click on the minus button again now you add lib dot sqlite 3 dot lib right so i added one either one of this right add this right sqlite 3 dot 0 dot lib or else you can go for that one you can use either one of this sqlite we have to use this right so now it gets added now so so before 
using these methods we need to import this we have already imported this file sql3.h file instead of this .h file we have a methods like sql3 underscore open sql3 underscore close sql3 underscore exec sql3 underscore prepare underscore v2 sql3 step sql3 finalize we have to remember only these six methods i have already explained we have to remember what only the six method open method close method axcc method prepare method and step method and finalize method only six methods and three macros right so so now if you observe in a you did load the you did load so you did load code is to create a database file and create a table right i am going to keep the breakpoint here and i will explain again application is running here what i am doing i am accessing the path of the document and i am keeping what some string variable i declare it as a globally if you see here property non string database path i will tell you how i am creating as it is a global and selecting right that's why i am storing this path in the global variable right so it is taking some time to run initially it will take first time after that it won't take this much time ns document directory ns user domain mask we have to remember all those things it will return what path to the array path array at the 0th index we have a path for what document directory so i will display i will show you the log over here you will understand then see now go by step by step So path is what is the path? Users Rajendra Prasad username that is library developer simulator devices. In the new version, it is different. Finally, we will go to here only. And your application number container data dot applications. And this is your application pick number. Here we have a documents directory. Inside of this document directory only, we have to create a database path, right? For example, if I am passing if I am not passing this yes, what will happen? You will get a tilde and only this symbol. I will show you that also, right? I will show you that also. Now see, we have a document path. So this is the document I printed. Now what I am adding? For this path, I am adding component called contact.db that I am doing in the string. In a string alloc, it with string and document path string by appending path component. Document path is what? This path. Total this part. For this path, I am appending the component that is called what contact.db. Right? Now go to the next step. Then see this. So for this path and this part, what is the different? Only we added contact.db. That means to add a string to the one more string, that which method we have to use? String by appending path component. String by appending path component. So now it will add this string to the this string, right? that's what i uh, we have did and i'm printing this path so now this this path is before adding contact.db this path is after adding contact.db you can see after document we have contact that means we prepare a path to the database file now after that i need to check whether this file is existed or not to do that run this this file is <coughs> this saying this file is already existed so if it is not existed what will happen it will come to this condition so this is saying file exists at path no yes it is saying it is existing that's why it is going out of this right so what i need to do i need to reset this reset this simulator reset this simulator that means delete the existing application Now run and see. So go to step by step. So 
step by step path total path database path now file manager file exist at path no now it is not existed so now file is not created database file is not created now i am converting the database path from n string to the c string this is ddb path in the next step what i am passing i am passing the path to the database and also the object of reference of what sql3 if you see here i declare a variable called sql3 contact at db so this is a variable which can hold the database reference i am passing the address of this variable address of this variable what this method will do it will open the database at this path and will keep the database reference in this address right this is input parameter this is output parameter if it is successfully open i am checking with okay that means if it is successfully open then database is open successfully then create a table right to do that i am creating the query that is create table if not exist contacts and four columns one is id one more is name address and phone number here id is auto incremented we no need to <coughs> enter that we have to enter name address and phone number right so after that i need to execute the create query in the open database that's why output of this parameter i am going to pass to the first variable to this method and the query that is this query in the second variable what it will do it execute this query on the database <coughs> and if it find a, find any error it will give that error in this third variable right so if it is not successful that means not equal to escalate okay that means we can say fail to create a table if it is successful it is successfully created whether it is successfully created or not successfully created we need to close what database contact that db right <coughs> we have to pass the database open database then it will close close what that open database right so if the database is <coughs> not able to open that means if it is not okay i am printing the text on the label self dot status dash text file to open create database right so this is to create a database and the create in created table in the database now go to the step by step so it we are preparing query and i am creating the table so closing the database that means database is successfully created there are no errors that means this block is not executed this block is not executed that means there are no errors that means here what we will how to get the path to the document directory we have used which which method ns search path for directories and domains what is the method we have to use to get the path to the document directories and a search path for directories and domains it will take three parameters this is c language method c three that's why i am using commas and is document directory and is user domain mask and yes that means you get the absolute path if you pass yes only you get the absolute path if you pass if you pass the no you will get the path like this right with the tail symbol i need complete path that's why i need to pass what yes after that i added the contact db to the document folder path then i then it will become a database path after i am using open sql3 underscore open file method to create a database in the path after that i am using what sql3 underscore exec to create a table using the in the database path what it will do it will execute this query that is this create query in this database <coughs> and and checks with the sql okay to understand whether the query is executed successfully or not right so in the next section we will see how to insert the data in the contact that db and also how to select the data from contact that db right so i did not explain you the about x about this ui creation you have to do yourself like you have to drag and drop three text fields and three labels and save method and find method and we have to add ib action for this and ib action for this that means some method and click on this some method and click on this instead of this method we have to write a data to in code to insert in this inside of this method button click we have to write a code to find the data but where to create the database we have written that code in the view to load method in the view to load method you can create in some any method but i am going to create in the view to load method right this is to code to create what database and the table right we will see the code how to the code that we have to use to insert and the find in the next session next class right this is the basics about the sql and how to create a file and how to create a database if you want to see this 
we want to see then copy this copy this path copy this path and open this file you can see the contact that db go to the terminal go to the terminal right open directly then paste it sorry command v this path now you can see see contact dot db is created or not in which folder cancel right for example don't open this sorry open up to this right so inside of this you can see contact dot db right so in this path we have created a database in this database file table is also created we have escalate browser you can see that we have any escalate browser for example escalate underscore open i will show you that also open with escalate browser so you can see contact tab table contains how many values id name address phone number type is id integer name is text 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 right so that means database is successfully created and also table is successfully created what is the pending we have to insert the data into data into the table and we have to find the data from the table that we see in the next class right